Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Truth For Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove, and we hope today's devotion finds you doing very, very well. We are taking our reading out of the book of John, chapter number 16. We're going to read verse number 33. Jesus there is talking to His disciples, and here's what He says. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. And can I stop and say this? I'm glad that in Him is peace. But then He goes on to say this. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I, Him, have overcome the world. In other words, here's what we learn from that. You could almost sit back and wonder, why would Jesus be negative? Why would Jesus share with the disciples something that was not uplifting or encouraging? And I'll tell you what He was te- Here's what I believe He was teaching them. That's life. Life happens. And all of life is not going to be positive. As a matter of fact, There's going to be a lot of negative things that happens to you and I in life. So Jesus said this to the disciples, understand that in this world you shall have tribulation. He said, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. See, earlier he had told them that in him they had peace. And the reason it's important to know that, to know where you find your peace at, is that when you find your peace in Jesus, regardless of what kind of tribulation comes up in your life, you always have a refuge to run to. Now, let me, let me say this, because this, is, I think, is the important part of what Jesus was trying to communicate to the, to the disciples. Basically, he was saying this, look, fellas, you're gonna, as you walk through this world, understand this. Yeah, I give you peace, but there's always going to be something happening. Always something coming up that's challenging. Always something coming up that brings some type of difficulty or hardship to your life, because that is life. You're living in a sin-cursed world. Don't let it get you so down and distraught that it defeats you. That, that's not the purpose. When things are the hardest, here's what he was saying. In me, you have peace. Run to me, Jesus was saying to the disciples. When everything's upside down on its head and you can't find seemingly an answer anywhere, find your peace in me. I've overcome the world, he said. So in him, if he's overcome the world, then we can have the peace while we're in the tribulation in the world through him and only through him. So let me and you be encouraged today that when tribulation comes, when life happens, as Job said, a man that is born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. When we're going through those seasons, let's run to Jesus. That, my friend, is where the peace is at. I hope today's devotion, especially if it finds you in a trial, will point you back to the one that's able to give you peace in the middle of a storm, and that's the lovely Lord Jesus Christ. As always, may the Lord richly bless you today is our prayer.